Uber originally withdrew from the Taiwanese market in February after the transportation ministry slapped it with stiff fines for violating local regulations. Uber says it will now use a new business model in cooperation with car rental companies and simply act as a platform for matching cars with passengers. But Transportation Minister He Chendan said the 830 million NT outstanding fines Uber owes the government will need to be paid. Lawmakers focus their questions today on all the past controversies Uber whipped up by operating illegally in Taiwan. Even though the company owes the Taiwanese government 830 million NT dollars in unpaid fines, it formally resumes services today. We are happy to see new technology come to Taiwan and boost our transport services industry. For car rental companies, it's as though they found a partner and may want to make use of its technology or cooperate for some other reason. If the services Uber provides do not violate regulations relating to operations, taxes or insurance, then we will not impose a ban on it. Minister Hu Chen-dan said this time around Uber will not directly assign private drivers to pick up passengers and instead would cooperate with the car rental industry and act as a simple third-party information platform matching up cars with drivers. At this stage, Uber seems to be operating legally, but lawmakers questioned if consumers could be protected from Uber. For services provided by rental companies, they always use their own cars and drivers. They operate on behalf of themselves. They are unlikely to and would not allow outsiders to rent their cars and let them make use of their cars for their own business. The result could be that they might use the cars to take tourist sightseeing and make money on the side. That would harm the car rental company's own self-interest. The transportation minister said the government would give Uber another chance in accordance with the law in support of the creation of new industries in Taiwan.